In this lesson, we will create a runnable class or a static main method. This is code that can be run on its own without being called from another object. In earlier releases, these were referred to as jobs. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create a new runnable class. So I have my project open here and I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on it. I'm going to go to add and we're gonna add a new item. And over here in our Dynamics 365 items, we're going to click on code. You can get to it from this main node here, um, but it's easier to kind of navigate through um, using these nodes. And I will go ahead and click on runnable class and I'll go ahead and name this. So I'm going to name this DB Hello World. And I'm going to put a one after it. And I'm going to go ahead and click add and that will create my new class. <clears throat> and what's nice about this is when you select to create a runnable class, we'll have our class and then the main method, our public static main method will automatically be added. And we have some comments in here as well, basically saying this will run the class with specified arguments. So I can go down in between my brackets here and put in a block of code. And we're just gonna do something really simple where we just display an info log in the user interface. So to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in info. And then after info in parentheses, I'm going to then type in, in between quotes, what I want to display. So I'm just gonna type in a string here. I'm gonna say, hello D3. I'm gonna say, hello Dynamics. 365 world. I'll close my quote, close my parentheses, and this is just a really basic info log that we're now going to display. So what we could now do to run this and view it in the user interface is I can right click on this class, I'll set it as my startup object, and then I can go ahead and run this. So as you can see here, we have an error, so we're gonna fix that. And what that is, is it's really simple. And we can see here, IntelliSense basically tells us what's wrong. And what I did here is I forgot to add my semicolon after my line. So I'll go ahead and do another save here. And now we don't have any errors and I can go ahead and run this. And here we have our class runner, which is running our class. And we can see our info log that displays hello Dynamics 365 world. And then we can go ahead and just stop debugging. I'll leave this page and I can click stop up at the top of this and I've stopped running this. Some important notes from the demonstration are that the X plus in X plus plus all code is contained within curly braces. For runnable classes, the method will always be called main, and the keyword void refers to the return type of the method. In this case, nothing is returned from running this method, so we call void. Public and static are modifiers to the method, which describe the scope and how the method is called. Additionally, within parentheses, the parameters or, augment or arguments to the method are passed. Additionally, info is a call to the base method that, ex that expects as a parameter a string which will be displayed to the client. 